guys, welcome back to another DZ map making update video. Yes, this is the uh, my third DVZ map, and this is the second update. So, uh, since last time, uh, main thing I've done, well actually I've done a, let's see, I'd say about three things. Um, but let's do the kind of lesser significance things first. First off, uh, you may notice that this whole f waterfront here is all finished, closed, uh, it's all f filled out um, for all the way from the wall to another endpoint. It's all built in, at least building wise. I'm going to be doing like roads and details kind of later on in the map after uh, all the buildings are in place. Uh, so yeah, uh, since last time I built at, uh, this building way down here at the end. Nice little roof tower thing there. Nice little facade. Little doorway here, which of course won't go anywhere. Uh, on this side here, it's just a small alleyway that doesn't go anywhere. Kind of gets closed off on the end there with the towers on the wall, like this, much like this one. So that's that building. Uh, that was all here before, uh, as was that. And then there's this building here, a nice little bay view window here, their little doorway, arches and stuff. It's a nice house, simple roof. Yeah, uh, another building here. Uh, this building, this green building here. Uh, it's pretty nice, one of uh, the better buildings, I believe, personally. And it's also got a wee bit of interior, uh, just the first floor here. You'd come in here, you know, you can get some weapons and potions and stuff, although this is not the primary place to do it. Uh, the reason that this building has interior as opposed to, like, most things... You know, actually, I, sh I should do the floor at some point, because I can do the floor for in here without getting in the way of the road. Uh, but anyways, sorry. Um, the reason that this has an interior and... Uh, mo uh, as opposed to like other buildings that don't, is because it it's right after the exit to the sewer right here. You might remember it. So yeah, that comes up right here, uh, and the same as that staircase here. And so it's not like dwarves just wall off this here, and then they defend, and that's that basically cut off. I mean, they can still wall this area off, but... That's a little harder, because they're... I don't know, I feel like it's harder to defend when the monsters are digging up as opposed to in a horizontal plane. Um, but yeah, so monsters come up here, and they can hop over into here, come through the shop. Uh, pretty much this whole wall here can be broken out, though. But it's just a little extra space for maneuvering. So, yeah, kind of a little interesting things. Also, these are just, these lamp posts here are just here for, I was trying out different types. I think I'm going to go with this one here. It's my favorite of these three. I had a fourth one as well, but I didn't like it at all. They're just here. For now. It's temporary. Anyways, I got a little distracted. Uh, another building here. Nice and simple. And as well as this one. Also quite simple. Uh, very simple roofs. Uh, and then at the end here, we've got a mill. Uh, it's a very big building plane, but, you know, this is just a, this is a very industrial building. This is where people, people come down to the docks, or, well, this is kind of the rich part here, but, uh, not, it's also rich for, like, businesses and stuff, so. Uh, this is a business, and it's, this half of the building is out here on this side, and, I don't know, maybe goods come in here and, I don't know, maybe from the gravel company over there they send gravel over here to be refined into 
better turn types types of stones. I, I honestly don't know what kind of mill building it is, but that's not important because it doesn't have a real interior. <laughs> it's just a way to kind of cap off the end of the play space here because this first shrine is basically diagonal from there to there. That's it. Coming over here, not much point except to get in through the sewers. And also this staircase that I added as a way up from, you know, the waterfront down here, the or the boardwalk. Is this a boardwalk? I think that's a board. I think this is a boardwalk. Also a little door here, just for details. Nothing real. Uh, this is a pile of crap. These are note blocks, so people can get very annoyed by those, uh, or break them, or both. Uh, and then that's about it on the uh, in terms of what's going on, on the waterfront. Over here, I added one more building over there, uh, but that's that. If you want a little closer look at the wheel, there you go. It's pretty cool. But the other thing that's down here that's uh, pretty cool is this loading in. Yes, okay. This right here is the gate uh, for the water. They could raise those gates theoretically, let boats through. But most of the time that's closed and yeah. <laughs> but as you can see there's a dock here so they probably have it open at times. But during the current, uh, the time at which uh, it's being invaded by demons and stuff, the city here, yeah, they're going to have that shut. And, uh, yeah. So you can't go through here. This is kind of the end of the map. I'm probably going to put maybe one or two buildings there. Make it look like it. The city keeps going a little bit. Or maybe it's outside the city. I don't really know. I'm going to add a little bit of detail out there just in case somebody swims up here. and is like looking through. And, uh, it's buried on the other side of all this stuff here. The spruce planks and cobblestone walls, so you can't get through that. But, uh, the wall here isn't completely just for looks, it's actually an alternate path for monsters. So monsters, mob spawn there, they can run down here all the way to this little, little lookout thing and they can hop it right in here, or walk in even, just like that. And then they've got this long staircase to climb up here which I can just fly up because I'm in creative mode uh, where there's this hallway and at the end of this hallway is another staircase down like so that comes out here and you just here you are you're on the boardwalk with yeah so that's a pretty uh, safe way for monsters to get across. I mean, dwarves can defend it too, although there's no easy way for them to get into here, uh, except for building up to it or uh, digging out the side of this wall here a little bit to get over here. So it's, it's a little bit more mob-favored. And also, halfway along this long tunnel here, you've got this a little drop down here which monsters who say dwarves kind of are back there uh, defending it this is kind of like a cave almost on a normal map this would be a cave you could think about it that way um, if dwarves get pushed back to there monsters could just bypass them by going down here and plopping out here into this little middle bit here uh, which it's not as good as the other place because you have to swim a bit more but I'd say probably as a wolf you could leap that distance and as a zombie uh, swimming or I mean really swimming this amount of distance is much better than swimming that whole distance you know so that's an option uh, yeah uh, but keep in mind also that I'm gonna be putting a boat right here uh, and maybe a couple of other things floating in the water. I don't really know what. Maybe some small boats. 
maybe some more smaller docks. Um, that monsters can use to get across a little bit easier uh, than actually swimming across. So we've gone over the first two things that uh, have changed primarily, you know, the waterfront and the gate for the oat river. Um, and now we've got the final thing that I've worked on since last update that uh, this is really the most significant thing that I've accomplished and this really is the reason I'm putting out an update is I've got a giant cathedral here pretty awesome <laughs> yeah it's uh, cathedral to the light it's all done right now and yeah so this cathedral uh, as I said is to the light so it's got various onk symbolisms throughout it on the towers, here in this central rose window here, you've got a little onk as a centerpiece. And then inside the church, I'm just going to go inside, it's got three entrances, one through each of the bases of the towers, which these towers have a pretty full interior, although there's no built-in accessible way to get up onto the second and third story. You'd have to pillar up as a dwarf. Uh, but yeah, this this has this entrance here. Walk in like this. Got an onk here on the floor as well, made out of glowstone, because it's the it's the light, you know. Uh, and then we got this pathway down here of a red carpet, you know, very grand and powerful, I guess. And over here, you've got the pews for people listening to the sermon. <laughs> um, little lighting features throughout. A bit of juice and these side wings, which uh, these wings lead... well, that this wing leads out to over here by Final Shrine, this little... the hill up to Final Shrine, it sticks out here. And then over on this side is just a wee staircase with a little oil fountain over here, you know. Yeah. Uh, and this is kind of the facade on the sides as well. Smaller towers with, um, these ones have no interior. They're just purely decorational. Decorational? Is that, that's a word. Yes. I think it is. I'm going to use it if it isn't. Uh, up here in the towers you get bells. Uh, it's this this church is completely symmetrical, by the way. So, well, it's pretty much symmetrical. Some the smaller details, some of the smaller details are not symmetrical, of course. But uh, basically, the function of this church is a pa is a secondary path f from second to third. So you've got this pretty open one here on this kind of slowly sloping uphill, and. Uh, that's that's nice, but then there's also this one here that, you know, you run through the church right on up through here, and you take your right turn here, and you come out here. And I guess the dwarves could try and defend this a little bit, although uh, it'd probably be difficult. I mean, this staircase would probably be the best place to defend it, just because of the height advantage. But it's still pretty wide open, so it'd be hard to defend, especially with the fact that this area here would not be easy to defend, so it'd probably be pretty easy to get flanked and overrun. And not to mention that this staircase over here provides access for monsters who... Uh, provides access to monsters to this part here, so they can completely bypass the front half there. But you could try and slab off this here. Yeah. So in this cathedral, you get a couple really significant, uh, cool. Well, not significant, but I guess cool things here that I kind of want to show. But first, you get down this lower area here in the back. Uh, you got up here. This is the place where you would come up here as a, I don't know, priest or whatever, and you do your sermon. 
and yeah, like that. Uh, down around the sides here, you've got little private places of worship. Of, of worship. Yeah. Uh, so you can come over here, do a little bit of private prayer, you know, directly to the Ankh. A little staircase up here. Uh, right here, there's going to be a giant Ankh, like how in a normal Christian church there would be a giant cross. But this is not a Christian church at all. It's, a <laughs> it's to the light, you know? The symbol is an Ankh. As I, as I said, it's symmetrical on the other side. Down here, a little sore, a little juice. And that's... Yeah, that's it for kind of the layout. But kind of some smaller details. Well, maybe not so small, but... Uh, there is this. <laughs> yeah, this is the giant dome on the back half of the cathedral. And I put a little mural up there. Well, as I said, not so little, but uh, basically the mural. Rank 11 paladin here holding up his rank 11 hammer. Maybe it's Roman. Or maybe it's just another paladin in red armor. I don't know. Uh, and from his hammer is beams of light shooting out in every direction, bringing light to the world. And there's little uh, demons on the sides here that are all kind of like mm, cowering in the light. Yeah, they're getting kind of like blown away by it or purified or whatever. It's a uh, it's a pretty impressive mural if I do say so myself. So that's the main focus of it. Here, let's uh, get kind of a view of it walking through as if focusing on it, because before when I went in, I was kind of avoiding it to an extent. You probably glanced, caught glances of it, but yeah, as you're walking in here, you kind of see the pallet in there, and it's like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the hammer comes into view, and yeah, then the whole thing comes into view, and it's just pretty cool. And it's kind of meant to be viewed from this glowstone lamp here, which it's kind of the natural place you walk to when you walk through here. And you kind of, if you're just looking at that, you're going to be like, whoa. And you look down, and you're like, oh, I'm standing on the glowstone lamp. <laughs> so, uh, that's that. And then also on the sides here in these windows, you got little stained glass features, which this they're not the greatest, but they're there. Uh, this is a rank 11 hammer. Over here, you got a Pac-Man ghost. Just kidding, it's actually Roman's helmet, but it does look like... It really, really looks like Pac-Man ghost. Over here, you got Roman's Purifier, which doesn't look like Roman's Purifier, but believe me, it's Roman's Purifier. If anybody says otherwise, and says that it's not a Roman's Purifier, or they ask what it is, please uh, let them know that it's Roman's Purifier, uh, for sure. Over here, you got a shrine with a shrine beam. Over and over here, uh, looks like a rainbow, but it's actually a sunrise with two jimmies and two zombies. Uh, a lot of imagination used right there to see that one. Uh, and over here, you got the SOS, sort of sanctification. And yeah. That's basically all of those. And really, that's basically it on the cathedral. Uh, I guess stepping back a little bit, here's a nice view of it. That dome at the back there is actually kind of based off of the dome of the Hungarian Parliament. It's just an image that I saw when I was kind of scrolling through pictures of Gothic cathedrals being like, or... Yeah, no, Gothic cathedrals. And it, it's not a Gothic cathedral, the Hungarian parliament, but it's Gothic-style building. And I really like the dome, especially the redness for, you know, paladins. Their color is red. There's one last thing I'd like to mention about this uh, cathedral I've got here, and that is its shape. In the real world, you've got 
Gothic cathedrals are often Christian, right? That's the religion that they're built in honor of. And so, uh, Gothic cathedrals are built in the shape of crosses. I'm sure other cathedrals are as well, as well as some churches, but their uh, cathedrals are what I'm focusing on here, and that's they're built in crosses. Or if they're not, they are sometimes just in no particular shape at all. But basically, they're either in the shape of a cross or, as I said, no particular shape at all. And this this cathedral is obviously not a Christian cathedral. It's a cathedral to the light. So it's not going to be in the shape of a cross. It's in the shape of an ankh. Because, well, the ankh is the symbol of the light. Uh, as far as I can tell. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as you can see, go up there, that's the dome, which makes up the circular top to the Ankh, and then you've got the normal body there for the Ankh. And that's... That's kind of... That's a pretty small detail. And Well, I mean... I guess the detail is the entire cathedral, but it's a pretty insignificant detail, because I'd be surprised if people kind of, like, casually notice that. They're like, oh, hey, look, this is in the shape of an Ankh. Because I'm sure most people don't even notice about that about normal cathedrals. But if you know your cathedrals, and you know your... And you, well, if you know your cathedrals and you spend a little bit of time looking at this and you're admiring it and you're like, hmm, I wonder if, what shape it's in, then you're going to notice it. And that's, yeah, it's a very small detail that probably, well, as I said, won't go notice, but either you're going to be a cathedral buff and notice it, or you're just going to be watching this video. <laughs> so, I, I just, I, th I thought I'd mention that. Because it's a nice little detail that's there. So I think that's going to do it for this update, actually. Um, this is the second one, and there's going to be a couple more. Uh, however many it takes, really. So, yeah, next time, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to get. I'm probably going to fill out Main Street a little bit. That's this over here, uh, as well as maybe a bit of alleyways up there. That's probably, that's that's what I think I'm going to be working on next. But I honestly have no idea. I could work on the castle or over here or, uh, or even on Mob Spawn. I have, I have no idea. Um... So yeah, that's as I said, that's going to do it for this episode, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.